Okay, family, welcome to another edition of Crimson Truck Pride. We're going to Bessemer Pipe. We didn't get a load yesterday, but we got a load to go to Bessemer Pipe this morning. And uh, we're going to pick it up, and that's going to be our Sunday load. So we'll finish the video Sunday. We do have a guest back here, Miss the most beautiful Miss Redding back here, trucking along. She should be <laughs> driving, y'all, though, but we're going to let her just ride this time. So, And she do have jack food this morning. I already ate mine. Cause y'all know it always starts with coffee and jacks, so we both got jacks. So we'll see y'all when we get over that best of a pipe. Sunday morning, what's going on y'all? It's Sunday morning, uh, I ain't had my coffee yet, so I'm gonna try to go get my coffee and go to Jack's. And uh, we'll start this ride to, uh, I think I'm going to Ohio, I forgot. Oh, no, I'm not going to Ohio. <laughs> That's how I need my coffee so bad. I'm going to Illinois. Uh, Rockford, Illinois. So this is the load that we picked up Thursday. And had to sit on it to, to deliver for Monday, so we're leaving out Sunday. Like I said, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And look like uh, we're fixing to get some rain, so uh, we're gonna have to deal with that. So, anyway, let's ride. Yeah, it's that time again. It's time to get that fuel. So let's see what the fuel prices is. Let's get this fuel in here. Then I gotta get my coffee and my fuel. Okay, right now it's showing it at 241.9. So we put a card in and see what it changed it to. So that dropped it down to $2.35. So, and we'll get another discount when the company gives it to us. So, we'll see what that do. Starting to rain right now, but uh, we're finna walk over here, our favorite place, Jack's. And uh, we can't get breakfast because uh, we done got here too late. But one thing about Jack's, if y'all are here, they will let you walk up, a driver, and order your food. So that's a good thing. So anyway, let's go over here to Jack's and uh, ring the bell. They got a bell on the door and uh, let's order our food. Okay, so we did make our coffee the main thing, which I know it starts with coffee. That's good. And we also got our Jack fries. As y'all can see. So we good to go. And we also hit up Dunkin' Donuts and got us some donuts to go with our coffee later on. So other than that, y'all, uh, I guess y'all want to see what kind of donuts I got too, huh? Okay, hold on. That's the donuts we got. Okay, so them gonna be for later on. Uh, I'm kind of sneaking these because I ain't supposed to have my wife probably gonna say when she see the film. You know you ain't got no business eating them donuts. But anyway, it just started raining. So I guess it's gonna be a rainy trip. But let's get on our way and start knocking some of these miles out to go to Illinois. All right. As y'all can see, they're getting the pipe off. Right now, we made it down here to Rockford, Illinois. And as y'all can see, it's cold. We got a hat on our head, a heavy fur one, and also got our jacket on. Uh, it's 24, 24 degrees here, y'all. 24 degrees here. 
here in Rockford, Illinois. Wind blowing, so it's kind of cool. So I'll help him to roll these pipes off because the tra trailer is sitting at an angle, so it makes it hard. So I'm helping the guy out, roll these out. So hopefully we'll hurry and get these out of here. I can get back where it's warm in the truck. So let's get it. All right, y'all, we got the Crimson truck all cleaned up. They did a real good job. I had oil all back here, just spread it all back here. Hopefully, we think what the problem was, there was time for me to have an oil change and I went too far over the oil change. And so it got all in my wheels, all on the frame. So we're gonna see tonight, hopefully, um, this thing is fixed. Like we think the oil got so, the velocity of the oil got too thin. Since I got an older truck with a million miles on it, I got to start changing the oil a little earlier, maybe like at uh, 10,000 or something, but I went way over, like 20,000. We think what happened either uh, the oil filter got stopped up or um, the oil just got too thin. So we're going to see what it do tonight. Hopefully that's not it. Hopefully it ain't the rings, you know, in the motor. Uh, it's been a good one. So hopefully, uh, you know, like I said, we got the oil changes. So we got to start paying more attention to our oil change. So we're gonna drive this tonight, see how I do, and hopefully cross your fingers that Crimson Truck Pride still lives. So, all right, we're gonna get in here and rest a little bit. We'll talk to y'all later. Okay, family. Now, what had happened was that uh, I was losing a lot of oil, as y'all seen early in the video. Well, y'all probably ain't seen it because I probably didn't put that beginning video. I was losing a lot of oil coming out of my blow by. Um, it was going all back behind all on the wheels and everything and I thought I had a wheel leak but uh, it wasn't a wheel seal leak it was coming out of blow by and how I realized I, I traced it down and it was oil all up there in the front oh I mean I probably lost a lot of oil so I had made a trip from uh, home from Alabama and went up to Illinois where I knew it I was a gallon short but what made me look I was checking my load and I seen all this oil back then I'm like oh my god what is it is it seal leaking and like I said I traced it down and it wasn't it's was coming out the blow by and that kind of had me worried because I thought it was uh, uh some rings the rings was gone well what had happened was my maintenance snuck up on me uh, I didn't change the oil when I was supposed to so what happened the velocity of the oil broke down so like when you first check your oil and stuff it was thick because it didn't have no heat to it and as i drove it and it heated up the oil got thinner and thinner because that's what oil does it went when it get heat heated up it thins out if the velocity is not strong enough so it kind of had me worried so i was calling a couple places and everything and they kept telling me sound like your rings and stuff then i called one place in illinois he said I said, well, I'm a way over my oil change, way overdue over my oil change. And uh, he said, sound like it might be your filters might be stopped up too and your oil is too thin and lost the velocity. Um, and I said, you know what? That sound about right. Um, I can't tell you how many miles I was over because I'll never do that again. But uh, when I found out that I got to start changing my oil a lot earlier 
because what happened is this truck got a lot of miles over it got over a million miles on it now so it breaks down the oil a lot faster so usually you're supposed to change it with a Cummins motor somewhere between 11 to maybe 15 and I went over the 15 way over the 15 I'm not gonna tell y'all but way over the 15 and that was a mistake so I was really hurting my truck so for now what I'm gonna do I'm probably gonna start changing around 10,000 you know um, if not at the most 12,000 you know our oil changes cost a lot it costs over 300 something dollars so a lot of times you don't want to spend that $300 right there you might not have it right then but you got to put back and save for it and you got to do your maintenance on your truck um, I usually don't slack on my maintenance like that but I have because it's been kind of slow and stuff you know and trying to get everything back in order and um, get the truck back running right and stuff but um, can't slip on that because it will cost you you know and luckily like I said uh, I got all of it cleaned up and everything and uh, got it back running right and luckily it was the oil was too thin the loss of velocity so when it was heating up and me driving the more especially pulling a load um, it made it worse so I was on my way coming back without a load so hopefully I can get a load today because I didn't want to pull a load because that put more strain on the motor and make it you know leak out more so with that said like i said basically y'all keep up with your maintenance keep change your oil when it's supposed to be changed and even if you don't own a truck do your car the same way because your car can do the same thing so you know most time with cars you have to change your oil at three thousand three thousand miles um if you got conventional oil if you don't if you got synthetic oil you can go like six thousand um but make sure you do your maintenance and change your oil and get it greased so uh, I'm going to stay up on that and do a little better, but other than that, that's about it, y'all. So, um, I hope that's helpful for some of y'all and learn from my mistakes to not ha for y'all not to have mistakes. And, uh, like I said, man, this snow out here is getting a little thicker. Uh, it's coming down pretty good, but uh, hopefully this stuff clear up because I do not like driving in snow. But uh, with that said, y'all, we'll get back with y'all later. So as we walking back to the truck, it is snowing here. Yeah, it is snowing here. I'm in Illinois, somewhere in Illinois. And it's snowing pretty good. Hopefully this stuff don't get so thick and we can get a load and get up out of here. So we done made it over here to the Cal big caterpillar place uh, over here in uh, Illinois. And we got these motors right here. We got them stacked and loaded. So, I mean, these are engines, big Caterpillar engines. I don't have no idea what they go to. We got to strap them on the side right here. They got them bolted underneath here. Uh, big old boats, they said hold it down. So, hopefully this is good and bolted down because the only thing I'm going to be holding these big old things is straps. So, let's get these strapped down and let's get ready to ride. So we got this all strapped down and everything good and tight. This our load for Monday. So we'll be leaving out Sunday with it and uh, taking it to Grand Rapids, Michigan. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure also you share and also make sure you subscribe. So other than that, y'all know what it is, baby. We out of here. Roll tire, roll. Time to go home. Peace.